Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So, in this lecture, we'll start with the uh, plastering work. Okay. Up to the brickwork, we have finished it off. I'll start with the plastering. So, in the plastering, we have a 12 mm plastering, which is the inside plastering, and the clause is 13.1.1. So, I've taken the same thing here. So, it is there in the DSR. You have to go to the DSR. So, it is 13.1.1 and enter. So, let me check it out. Okay. So, you have to go to the volume number two. Okay, 13.1.1 and enter. So you can get it here. Okay, for 12 mm plaster, if it is 1 is to 4, you have to follow this. But for 12 mm, we had gone with the uh, which is that 1 is to 6 ratio. So you can refer this one for 1 is 1 is to 6 ratio. I've done the same thing here on the Excel sheet. Okay, same thing I've done it here. Got it? No, fine. Now we'll start with that again. First, what I'll do, I'll start with the 10 square meter area. Okay, well, let me go for the 10 square meter area. So in the material part, first I require a cement mortar, which is 1 is to 4. Sorry, this has to be 1 is to 6, no? Yeah. This is 1 is to 6. If it is 1 is to 6, sir. let me check out. Give me a minute. Yeah. Yeah, this is 1 is to 6. Okay, no problem. Fine. Okay. This is 1 is to 6 part. So how did this 0 0.144 come into picture? Again, it's very simple. Since it's a plastering quantity, we know that what is the conversion factor we adopt? So it will be like how much? So 1.44, I want for 1 cubic meter. I'll multiply by the cement. Cement is 1 divided by the total ratio. So it is 1 is to 6, no? So 1 plus uh, 6 will be 7. So divide by 7. How much it is? So it is coming 0 0.20. So in that case, let's see, according, okay, this is for 1 is to 4. Let me go with 1 is to 6. What will happen? I'll go with 1 is to 6. So it is 0 0.144. For 1 is to 4, it is 0 0.144. Uh, 1 is to 6, it is 0 0.144. Then I should get the answer. Let me check it out. Okay. Okay. Or if I do this, if it is 1 is 2. Okay. So I'm doing one mistake here. Okay. So the mistake is that uh, this is your mortar quantity. I don't require that. I'll start with this. See what is given? It's a 12 mm plastic. No. So for 10 square meter, it is given. For 10 square meter, I'll convert this into volume. So for volume, it's a 12 mm. So it will be 0 0.012. Okay. How much it is coming? 0 0.12. Okay, then here I have to consider here it is given 0 0.144. So here I have to consider a wastage of almost 20%. So I'll multiply this by 1.20. So how much I'm getting? 0 0.144. You can see you can see the same thing here 0 0.144. Because when you're doing the plastering, again there will be wastage of your cement mortar. So actually, if you don't consider the wastage, it will be just your volume will be. 10 into 0 0.012. Okay, this will be actual volume. But since we are adding a 20% wastage in the cement mortar, so that is why what you do, you multiply this by 1.2. Okay, so it's coming 0 0.144. That is the reason it has come 0 0.144. Next, this rate you can put 1 is to 6. You can put a rate how much it will cost because for 1 is to 6 ratio, if you come in the costing part for 1 is to 6 ratio, I require 5.9 bag of cement, 43.5 bag of sign so according to that my costing will be somewhere close to 3582 where 5.9 i'll multiply by 350 the bag and 43.58 i'll multiply by 35 rupees per cft sign so it is 3582 so same thing you can see in the this thing what is that rate analysis they have taken the rate as 3713 so here i have directly taken 3713 but how the costing will come that i have explained you okay after that coming to the labor part so in labor, you require a mason, you require a coolie, you require a bisti. Okay, again, these quantities are given 0 0.67, 0 0.75 and 0 0.92. See, this quantities has been observed over the years and people have found this constants. So we don't know from how did, how did this analysis come into picture. But these things are given in your code book. So directly we are supposed to take this. Okay, but how, how did it come means people have seen this over a uh, period of time. And then they would, might have taken some thumb rules and through that, these answers are coming. Okay, fine. Now coming to the prices, you put the mason price here, put the coolie price, put the bisti price here, you'll get the total cost here. 
Now coming to the scaffolding, since it's a plastering work, you're going to do the scaffolding, isn't it? So scaffolding on a lump sum, they have taken here 26.73. You can take around 30 rupees as a lump sum. If I want to make 10 square meter of my plastering, uh, my scaffolding and other will be somewhere 30 rupees for that. Now total will be, you add everything, you'll get the total, which is 2207.16. Now on this, we'll add 1% of water charges. Then we'll add 14.5% of GST. Then we'll add a 15% contractor profit. Then I'll add another 1% of CES, which will come out to be 2953.04. So this cost, whatever I'm, whatever I'm getting, it is for 10 square meter, but I'm supposed to find for one square meter. So I'll divide this by, I'll divide this by how much? So I'll divide this by 10. So I'll get the cost for one square meter, which is 295.304 rupees. Understood, right? How that 295 is coming. So same thing in the BOQ, if you go, this is my 12 mm plastering. Here you can put that 295. How much I got in the rate analysis? I got 295. So in the BOQ, you can insert 295 here. And based on that, you're going to get the total cost. This much is the area of plastering we had. Based on that, we'll get a cost. Got it, no? Now again, like I always mention, this everything can vary here. Your mason road, uh, rate you're supposed to know. You should be knowing the coolie rate. This also varies. But I've explained you how these constants are coming here. Based on that, you can try to carry out the calculations. Got it? Fine. So once this is done, I'll take you to this uh, DSR again. So I have explained you for 1 is to 6. Okay. We got 282. This is for 1 is to 6. Similarly, if you want to do for 1 is to 4, then you're supposed to follow this particular thing. There's no changes. Everything remains the same. There's no change anywhere. Only in this cost, it will change. That's it. This is 0 0.144. This is also 0 0.144. Rest, everything is also same. Whatever you can see the amount, no? up to here, the amount is same. Okay. Only the thing is where the changes will happen, the motor quantity. Here, 1 is to 6 motor. So, obviously, the rate will come down. 1 is to 4 motor is a rich motor. So, here the cost will go up. So, 3713 and 3044. So, this is the difference where it comes. Rest all remains the same. So, if you want to do 1 is to 6, your rate will be less in comparison to 1 is to 4. It will cost you 294. And this will cost you 282, right? So you're able to understand the difference because since your motor quantity is more, since your cement content is more, your rate has gone up in 1 is to 4. Whereas in 1 is to 6, it is 282 rupees because since it's 1 is to 6 ratio, here the cement consumption is less compared to 1 is to 4. That is why the rate is less here. So now how do you understand this? For example, tomorrow, let us say, somebody brought your rate analysis and sh they have shown you that. See, this is how I have done. Can you tell me whether it is correct or not? For example, let us consider that person who has done a rate analysis for that person who has done a rate analysis for 1 is to 4. He has given a rate, let us say 295 rupees. Okay. And for 1 is to 6, he has given a rate of 300. The moment you see that, you can understand that there is something wrong in that. Why? Because by logic, you know, for 1 is to 5, the rate should be always more in comparison to 1 is to 6. That is by logic we know because in 1 is to 4, it's a rich mix. If it is a rich mix, that means cement content will be more. If cement content is more, obviously the rate will go up. But whereas here, let us say your friend brought a, a rate analysis and shown you, see, for 1 is to 6, I'm getting this 300 rupees per square meter. For 1 is to 4, I'm getting 295 rupees. The moment you get to see something like this, that means he might have done some mistake. You're getting my point? Even before you enter into the rate analysis part, look by but just by looking at the answer you can come to a conclusion that somewhere the mistake has happened so this must this much judgment if you're able to make it's always a good thing and this is how you can learn more and more on this other than that i've explained you every part only the thing is you have to play with the rates that's it nothing else can be done okay fine so after this we'll go with a 15 mm plaster now so i've explained you for 12 mm plaster okay 15 mm plaster anyhow okay i'll explain you the 15 15 mm plaster also I think if I have it, let me go. Else I'll explain you here only. No problem. Now we'll go with 15 mm plaster. Okay. So in 15 mm plaster, you know, 15 mm plaster is nothing but it's for a single brick work, half brick work. It's a plaster. Okay. So what, what all things you're supposed to understand? Only the thing is here the cement motor is 1 is to 4. We are doing it for 10 square meter. How much you're getting? You are getting 0 0.172. How did you get this 0 0.172? It's again very simple. What is supposed to do? I'll take this. 0 0.172, 1 is to 4 is a ratio. Okay. So what we can do is, I'll come here. I'll tell you how it has to be done. Okay. See. Again, first I'll take for 10 square meter. I'll multiply this by thickness. Okay. Of the plaster, which is 15 mm. No? So 0 0.015. 0 
so I should get 0 0.15. But for 15 mm plastering, we are allowed a 15% of wastage. So if I add a 15% wastage to this, 15 is means 1.15. So how much I'm getting? 0 0.1725. So same thing you can see in the Excel sheet. They have written 0 0.125. You can see 0 0.172. And how much did I get in the Excel? 0 0.172. You're getting my point now? So you just need to understand if you're doing a anyhow that I'll take care in the next lecture about the uh, wastage part. Now you just remember if it is a 12 mm plastering, how much wastage we took? We took how much wastage? Yeah. I've done it here. No? We took 20% wastage if it was a 12 mm plastering. If it is a 15 mm plastering, we took 15. If it, if it was a 15 mm plastering, we took 15% wastage. Two things you remember. Later for 20 mm and 6 mm, I'll explain you in the next lecture how much wastage you're supposed to take care of. And now rest things are very simple. So once you understand this, these things you can take out. This quantity you can find on your own. And you'll multiply both this thing, you'll get the rate. Now come to the labor. You require a mason, you require a coolie, you require a bisti. Then it's given 0 0.80, 0 0.88, 0 0.99. So multiply that by the uh, rate of the mason and the coolie and the bisti. You'll get the total amount for that. After that, what you're supposed to do? After that, you'll take a scaffolding and sunrise. You take a lump sum value of around 30 rupees per 10 square meter. Okay, that's it. Once you do that, you'll get the total cost. This you name it as W. Over that, you add a 1% of water charges. Then you add a 14.5% of GST. We add a 15% of contractor profit. You add 1% of cess on that. So complete it for 10 square meter. You get a cost of how much? 3397.11. This is for 10 square meter. I require for 1 square meter. If I divide this by 10, I am getting 339.71. Let us say 339.70. So this is the cost of your half brick work. Half brick plastering. If you want to do, it will cost you how much? 339 rupees. Getting my point now? So in this way, you're supposed to do the rate analysis. So I've explained you for 1 is to 4. In the same way, you can try to work out for 1 is to 6 also. Again, now tell me, comparison to 1 is to 4 and 1 is to 6, which one should be a higher rate? Obviously, this will be a higher rate since it is 1 is to 4. And you see for 1 is to 6, the rate is 324. And for 1 is to 4, the rate is 339. Almost there's a 15 rupees difference in the rate. Okay, great. So in the next lecture, I'll uh, take care of the 20 mm plastering. We'll see about 20 mm plastering is the outside plastering. And then we'll see even the ceiling plastering, which is 6 mm. So once we finish this both, that means the plastering part I've com covered completely. Till here, try to practice it. Whatever answer you can see here, we had put 282 here. And for 15 mm also, I'd explain you how to prepare a bio cube. Even though we had not prepared a bio cube separately for a, a plastering in the four and a half inch brickwork, but I'd explain you how it has to be done. So try to prepare your sheets up to here. Try to understand how I've done the analysis. Try to go through this so that you get an idea. We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.